Hello and welcome to Blackboard Learn Ultra Base Navigation. In this particular video, we're going to cover the activity stream. The activity stream is, is accessed by using the activity stream link on the navigation menu when you land in the Blackboard Learn Ultra Base Navigation environment. Notice when you click on the activity stream, a student or a faculty member receives up-to-the-minute action on all the most important information in their courses, throughout their courses. That means that I do not have to, as an instructor, go to a specific course to start grading an item. If I see an alert about that item, no matter what the course is, I can click the event that shows up on my activity stream and it will automatically take me to the course in question where I can begin to grade. As for students, it is the same thing. It's grouped into four categories uh, that, we'll, that we're about to walk through. The activity stream is another one of those uh, efficiency ads that Blackboard has brought into its development in terms of the ultra frame. Uh, efficiencies in terms of all the things that I might want access to in one place, uh, easy access to those things. And it puts it in a familiar streaming sort of environment. Think of LinkedIn and other streaming avenues where students see stories and events that pop up and they can scroll through them. This shows up in that same way in the Blackboard Learn Ultra Base Navigation environment. So let's talk about those categories within the activity stream. In this particular activity stream, we start with important. The important category for students displays overdue assignments, tests, graded activities, as well as messages from instructors. For instructors, the important category will contain course messages from co-instructors and TAs. Uh, note that this category shows up first. It's always going to show up first. Students or instructors, were they to dismiss something from anything on the activity stream, it is gone for good. So unless you do not want to see that anymore, do not click the dismiss button. Moving on, we'll talk about the upcoming events. Upcoming events are generally the top five events for the next seven days. It does not appear if nothing matches the criteria. If you have a longer list, you can click Show More for a complete list of upcoming material. The Today category, not listed here because this particular student instructor doesn't have any events today, contains everything happening and due in the next 24 hours. It also contains institution-level announcements as well as course-level announcements. After the, to the Today category on your activity stream comes the Recent activity. The recent activity are things that show up uh, previously in the today section in the last seven days or when you haven't checked in in a while. Remember that students see reminders about overdue work in the important section rather than the recent section. So let's talk about what triggers these notifications to show up for instructors and students. Starting with students, what triggers student notifications on the activity stream? Well, new courses available new content posted in the courses, student ads or replies to blogs, journals, wikis, uh, discussions, those types of things, student grades being posted, a new course event added, course messages or replies, due dates, soon, today, and past due, as well as events today and soon. So what about instructors? What triggers things for instructors? Well, uh, those things are instructors, co-instructors adding content, a new blog, journal, or wiki entry, a new discussion post, items ready for grading, course messages and replies, alerts for students following behind. Those are important in retention efforts. New courses available, events added to your course, announcements, as well as events happening today and soon. The activity stream gives instructors and students the added benefit of being able to filter for specific things beyond just what's happening in the course. Uh, they can click on filter and choose grades and feedback. As a student, I see there's three items here that I can actually go in and view my grade on something that I've posted. This is triggered as a notification, so students are immediately engaged to go in and interact in that course. Instructors see the same thing. Instructors will see updates on their activity stream saying new submissions are ready to grade, and they can click on the link there and go directly and start grading. Again, another time saver for instructors and students. Beyond the filtering between assignments and tests, grades and feedback and show everything, 
uh, there is a cog up here in the upper right hand side where as an instructor or a student I can come in and check out what what exactly are my notifications that are showing up in my activity stream as well as in my overnight email or push alerts for when I sign in via the mobile app. So the push alerts are nice. If I've, if I've logged in via the mobile app, I will get push alerts uh, that show up next to um, uh, on my phone in the app. My phone will vibrate if I've got it set that way in my, in my pocket, encouraging me to go in and check the course. We hope you can see the added benefit of the activity stream and how it would increase engagement for students and instructors in the new Blackboard Learn ultra-based navigation environment. We look forward to talking to you again soon.